Hey everyone, it's Cece. Welcome to today's Summoner's War video. In today's video, we are back on a Guildy's account. So this is part two of a part three series on his account of summoning. So for this one, we are doing mystical scrolls as well as some legendary, and we'll finish it off with a transcendent scroll. Let's go. Uh, we have 170 mystical scrolls to start with, which means we should get 17 lightning at least. At least. I'm super serious. <laughs> Let's go and start summoning and see if we can get some lightning. So as I mentioned, this is part two. In part one, we did all of our elementals, which I will link above here, where we had 225 scrolls. I'll also put them in the description box below as well for all three parts. <laughs> With our last one being our light and dark. I want to say I'm most excited for that, but I'm excited for any scrolls. If you guys already know it, I love summoning. Even for myself when I don't get anything. <laughs> we do have our first lightning, and we have a wind neostone fighter. For those ones, it's the fire one that's the best one, who was recently HOH. So hopefully you all grabbed at least one of him. For Trevor, You'd want to put him ideally on vampire runes, give him that self-sustain. I actually de-runed mine a really long time ago and I don't think I ever gave him his runes back, now that I'm thinking about it. But I don't know if you guys have done the same thing. Sometimes, especially on free rune removal, I'll take some runes off, not really think about it, not really put them back, and then I'll go into like a guild war or siege battle and <laughs> Suddenly things just aren't working right. Either they're not like violent proccing or they're dying really quickly and I'm like, how how is this happening? And then I go and check them either missing runes or they don't have runes. Please tell me I'm not the only one and you guys have done that. Because I've definitely done it more than once. Some of the ones I've had on violent and I've switched them to like swift. For example, my Rakan. I have my Rakan on vampire runes and I've considered putting him on violent. We have another lightning. And we have a sniper, so the fire one. It's the water one that I've seen most used. I'm not too sure with the fire or wind. I haven't seen used too much. I might look into those ones though. They're newer monsters, so with the newer ones it always takes just a little bit of time to figure it out. And so far we have some lightning slowly picking up. I do want to thank you guys for voting on my poll I had. Ooh, we have another lightning and okay, she's a good one. The Wind Undyne, she uh, has the um, immunity in there as well, which is nice. I do like pairing her up with like a Copper Messity comp, it's always good. So what I was saying is I do want to thank you guys for um, voting on me my vlog poll I had asking if you guys wanted to see some vlogs. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to start working on and doing. And if you guys can please give me feedback on it. Um, I'm slowly trying to figure out like new and exciting ways to edit things. So for vlogs, it's going to be my first time jumping into it, just like it was for YouTube. Um, making these videos was also kind of a learning thing. It'll be definitely the same thing with vlogs. So I would love your guys' feedback if there's anything that you think I'll be able to improve on or change or anything else you want to see. Um, when those videos come out, if you guys can start leaving some comments below, we do have lightning and we have Wa. <laughs> so Fire Rakshasa, she is a really good one. Definitely want to build her nice and quick, put her on some swift runes. Um, she's used typically in some staple like R4, R5 teams. Oh, we have Mav too. Mav like build him, definitely that wind penguin hang on to him. I've seen a lot of new players um, when I say that. Like in chat, if you guys notice, I kind of pop into channels from time to time. Um, this one too, the fire hard, also good. But Mav will help carry you through TOA and TOA hard. So it's funny, I think sometimes as a new player, it's like you don't think three stars or two stars are gonna be good, but Mav is like MVP. Top tier, nat three. <laughs> There we go, another lightning, so it's finally starting to pick up, and we got some fusion. So, Fire Joker. 
Um, I've seen that one used sometimes on its own. Some pair him with like if you are lucky enough to have a Sierra. And we have another lightning here. May as well be a windy. <laughs> Fire jack-o-lantern. Oh, I hate the jack-o-lanterns now so much. <laughs> I've just, I've stopped using my chilling after that. I, no, I'm just kidding. I still use them sometimes, but. The other ones, no, I have not built Windy and I'm not going to. I have no plans to. So since these videos are probably going to be posted a little bit apart, like maybe a week or a half week or something, I'm sure one of you will notice I'm wearing the same outfit. Um, but that's not because I put on the same outfit. <laughs> I'm filming it all in the same day, so at the same time. It's just a continuation, but different. <laughs> and also maybe I just really like this outfit. <laughs> we have another lightning here. Another ninja. All right. So wind ninja. I think in the other one. Ooh, back to back lightning. Okay, here we go. Ow, Lapis. You get her for free. <laughs> but Lapis is a little underrated. I use mine, mine's actually six starred. She's got the AoEs here. Yeah, some AoEs there. So she's one I actually use on in lab, on the speed ones. I use her there, so she's good for that. Don't underestimate her though, she's pretty good. Let's just take a look at my scoreboard and we are at Eight lightning so far just under a hundred scrolls so okay kind of on kind of on par yeah I would say roughly so far so good but we're hunting for some bat fives which we have not gotten yet I have a feeling they're all just sitting in the legendaries I hope there we go okay so we have some more lightning it's starting to pick up and wind phantom thief he was Hall of Heroes not too long ago. He does have an AoE, so some do use him on things like dungeons. Otherwise, I don't see him used beyond a five star typically. Or beyond early game. So. Maybe in the future he'll get buff a little bit. There we go. We have some sparks here. Fingers crossed. <laughs> or just another Julian. Maybe I didn't talk enough about him that he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> no, if it was at least the water one, that one is a good one to build, but... Just had to see that wind one twice, eh? Okay, more lightning, there we go. Give us something... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> so, three lightnings in a row are phantom thieves. This is the water one that I was talking about. Okay, back to back lightning, and that one was a little delayed. Oh, that would've been a good nat five. Selfid, wind selfid. Triple lightning, back to back, please be. Oh, come on, how often does that happen? Three lightnings, oh uh, no. If it was four, that would've been. That's like, I think the first time I've had a triple lightning or seen a triple lightning. What could have been. really hoping right there three three but that does put us up to 13 so at least the lightning rates are good triple lightning okay Ooh, copper all right as a four star that'd be good that's a good one. Copper you should definitely build. I put out a guild war using that copper, which I will probably put up here if you wanted to check that out. Um, I recommend building him. He's one of the three stars too that I think as a new player people might overlook. We do have more lightning. Fire Samurai. Still not the nat 5 that we are looking for. It's not a nat 5. And we want a new one. At least. We need to get at least something. We are down. 
Maybe I will pop into storage soon. Yeah, four more. All right, fake four star. It's a water version. The light one is good for the werewolves. Light and dark. Ooh, there we go. More lightning. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Fire mermaid. Still not what we want. Okay, and let's pop over into storage. All right, guys, 51 mystical to go. Everything's in storage. We started a fresh start. Let's get some new stuff, some new monsters. So if you guys haven't checked out part one, I'm gonna leave that linked below. Make sure you do. That's when we did all of our elemental ones. And look out for part three, which will be all our light and darks. And if you do like these kind of videos, be sure you hit the thumbs up, like the video, let me know. It does let me know that you like it and want to see some more. Which is always nice to see. Ooh, another Mav, okay. Okay, approaching our legendaries. And I do have a blessed summoning to use. Just been waiting to collect it, which we will do at some point. I know when I want to collect it, I just have to make sure that I don't forget. Could you imagine? <laughs> if I summoned all these girls and just forgot to collect it. Now that I'm making a joke about it, I need to like remind myself not to forget. Don't think he would ever allow me to summon for him again. <laughs> we do have a lightning. Come on, let's see. Oh my goodness. I'm just waiting for the Nat 5. The water Anubis. Not what we are looking for. Water Anubis is good though. Some definitely build for the uh, anti revive. Like, if, for example, if you kill a Perna using him, then the Perna will not come back to life. Or if you kill like another monster, a Ladril can't uh, revive him. So it's definitely one that some people do build. All their luck better be sitting in our LD scrolls at this point. Ooh, there we go. Okay, a little bit of a delay. We do have a lightning. And we have the water heart magician. So she's a good one. I've definitely seen her built. All the heart magicians are really great monsters. Okay, so our last one's as if we bought a premium pack, right? I feel like I should like hold my breath for the last five. <laughs> okay, three, two. Okay, last one. Oh, it is a lightning off the last one. Nice. Is it not in at five though? The water joker. People don't. People don't build him. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Legendaries. I am convinced this is where our Nat 5s are sitting. <laughs> they have to be in these ones. Um, we also have our Fire Legendary and our Transcendent. So we're actually going to wait to collect our Blessed when we're approaching those ones. So we'll just do our Legendary Scrolls and Pieces and see what we can get. Starting off with the Wind Neostone Fighter. So we got him earlier. It's making a reappearance for us. And Wind Death Knight. Did I say water Neostone Fighter earlier? I meant wind, wind. Wind Neostone Fighter, Wind Death Knight. Fire Barbaric King. One of you have to be a Nat 5, right? Wind Harg, that's also a good one. Come on, fingers crossed. I'll just keep them crossed. Ooh, nice, we got a Chakram. The water chakra. All the twins are great. Um, especially the water twins or the fire chakra is good. Water samurai. Oh, okay. Last one for the pieces, and then we'll move into the actual legendary scrolls. And we were talking about it earlier. So the fire chakra. Definitely a really good one. Probably the best, I would say, out of the chakras. Okay. 
14 legendary scrolls. I'm hoping we have to have some nat fives in here for sure. I'm tired of seeing these guys at this point. Like the, oh, the phantom thieves, there's enough of them. Like he's gonna think I went and summoned anything that he got from the, when they had the HOH. No, they just wanted to make an appearance multiple times apparently today in the summon session. And another one of the Wa Windhargs. 11 more legendaries to go. At least we have the Transcendence. At least. That'll be something new. <laughs> Hopefully. We're getting some repeats here. Water Samurai. Nine more. Fire Mermaid. Yeah, like... Should be getting something. There we go! Yes! Okay! I wasn't even looking down for this one! Nat 5, Wind Archangel, thank you. I hope he doesn't have him. I can't recall right now. I'll have to do a recap afterwards to see, but at least it's something. Thank you. It is a Nat 5, so we will take it. So let's get another one right here. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> At least we got one. Okay, let's get some more though. One was good. Let's keep going. We'll get some more here. Oh, Wind Barbaric King. That's also a good one. Who, for some reason, I still don't have on my main. I have not been able to get one. I originally was trying to get one so I can get the triple S um, on the rifts, and then I ended up just getting that triple S from the twins. But yeah, just for life of me, cannot get one of the Wind Barbaric. And we have Chloe. Three more. Let's see some more nat fives. We need like all the nat fives here <laughs> or out of our LDs. Okay, two more. And then we'll, oh, okay. So wind ninja. Okay, last legendary. And then we're gonna go collect the blessed summonings. And not what we're looking for. Okay. So we're gonna hop over to the events page. And. Okay. I'm gonna collect this and then we'll see what's going on in chat. So, as per the request, collected and let's see. Okay. We have a few grasses. Grats. Let me see now, actually, before we summon, let's see if he had... He does have him. I can't remember if I summoned it for him or not, so this is a dupe. But, like, he has so many nat fives, it's hard to get non-dupes for him. So hopefully he wanted two Eladrils. <laughs> okay, guys. It's time. For the legendary fire scrolls, first one. We do have the blessed waiting, confirmed it was in the corner. So we are starting off with the fire kung fu girl. I have my fingers crossed that we get it at least out of the three scrolls versus like the transcendence. The fire Horus and last legendary fire scroll, fingers crossed. And another one of the mermaids. So it looks like it's gonna be the Transcendence. Where we're gonna see right here. Our blessed summoning. Okay. Transcendence. Summon. Please be non-dupes. Please be non-dupes. <laughs> please be non-dupes. And... So we have Water Paladin or the Wind Occult Girl. I think he's got the Paladin. So I'm gonna confirm and just double check. Oh, they're both dupes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've come to the conclusion. You just have too many nat fives. Okay, they're both dupes. Um, I'm still gonna send him a message to ask him which dupe he prefers. <laughs> that is too bad they're both dupes, I'm so sad. That's too bad. I wish that they had it where you didn't get the dupes. So confirming just while I'm waiting. So we ended up getting 18 
lightning off of our 170. So that is about our average, which is good. And then we ended up getting one nat five off of our legendaries. Okay, said Water Paladin, which I agree because he does have two of the Charlottes already. Okay, Water Paladin, select. I'm sorry, it's both dupes, Bogo. <laughs> But you can make use out of those two, right? We do still have our light and darks. So, quick recap. I guess in chat people will be grats and yeah, a few grats is there. And looking through, so we did get Eladril, which was a dupe, but Eladril is a really good monster to use and have. We also got him some twins, two chakra ones, both great units. And looking through, we got Brian, who is a really good reviver, definitely wanted. Um, there's also Chloe, who's great. And I mean, the uh, Wind Ninja is good too. Some people do use him in a Giants team, but again, I think that was like before Twins time. So that'll be it for these ones. And then of course we have the Water Paladin that we just picked. Um, so both the Nat 5s that we got out of these ones were a dupe for him today. So that'll be it for part 2 of today's video. We do still have part 3 coming out, which will be our Light and Darks, and we'll have 121 of those. So again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to check out the other ones where we're gonna see what we can get out of our Light and Dark Scrolls. Next level.